Have you ever wondered if that unassuming box of baking soda sitting in your pantry could be the secret weapon for a thriving, vibrant garden? Well, get ready to be amazed. In this eye-opening video, I'll unlock the incredible power of baking soda and how it can revolutionize your gardening game. From boosting plant growth to warding off pesky pests, this humble household item is about to become your new green thumb superstar. Prepare to be blown away as I reveal the surprising benefits of adding baking soda to your garden. You'll witness firsthand how this simple ingredient can transform your plants, soil and overall garden health in ways you never imagined. Get ready to take notes because after watching this video, you'll never look at baking soda the same way again. Baking soda, that humble white powder, is a true jack-of-all-trades in the household realm. From scrubbing away stubborn stains to acting as a natural deodorizer, this unassuming ingredient has earned its place as a versatile and eco-friendly cleaning powerhouse. But did you know that the magic of baking soda extends far beyond the kitchen and bathroom? That's right. This unsung hero can also work wonders in your beloved garden, unlocking a world of possibilities for your plants and soil. Imagine harnessing the power of baking soda to create an environment where your plants can truly thrive. From boosting nutrient absorption to deterring pesky pests, this simple ingredient can become your secret gardening ally. And the best part? Baking soda is readily available, affordable and incredibly easy to use. No need for complicated concoctions or expensive products, just a sprinkle of this pantry staple can make all the difference. As I dig deeper into the world of baking soda and gardening, you'll be amazed at the incredible transformations it can bring about. From lush, vibrant foliage to bountiful harvests, the possibilities are endless. So, get ready to embark on a journey that will forever change the way you approach gardening. Baking soda. One of the most unassuming items in your kitchen is not only versatile, but also an incredibly affordable solution for your gardening needs. You may have never imagined that this simple box of sodium bicarbonate could do wonders in your garden, but it's true. This humble ingredient is not only readily available in your pantry, but it also provides a safe and eco-friendly alternative to the harsh chemical products that are often used in gardens. You no longer need to worry about exposing yourself, your family, or even the environment to any toxic substances. Baking soda is gentle yet effective, making it an excellent choice for organic gardeners or anyone who is conscious about reducing their carbon footprint. So, next time you are looking for a cost-effective, safe and effective solution for your garden problems, don't forget to reach for the baking soda. You'll be amazed at what this simple ingredient can do to transform your garden. You might be wondering, what can baking soda actually do for my plants? Well, let's explore some of its many benefits. First, baking soda can prevent and treat fungal diseases, keeping your plants healthy and robust. It can also deter certain pests, acting as a natural and safe insecticide. And did you know it could even sweeten your tomatoes? Yes, you heard that right. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. We're just getting started on the amazing ways this kitchen staple can transform your garden. And if those benefits weren't enough, baking soda has a secret superpower that can take your gardening game to new heights. What could it be? You'll have to keep watching to find out. One of the most common challenges gardeners face is dealing with fungal diseases. From powdery mildew to black spot, these pesky fungi can wreak havoc on your plants. They can be a real nightmare attacking your plants, leaving them weak and sometimes even leading to their untimely demise. But don't lose heart, fear not. Baking soda is your secret weapon against these unwanted invaders. When mixed with water and a bit of horticultural oil, baking soda transforms into a potent fungicidal spray, capable of both preventing and treating a broad spectrum of fungal diseases. But wait, there's more. I am not stopping there. I'll reveal the exact methods for using baking soda to combat fungal diseases later in the video. I will also walk you through the exact steps to create this powerful mixture and how to use it effectively in upcoming segments, so make sure you do not miss it. So keep watching as I continue to unveil the extraordinary powers baking soda has in your garden. Just like us, healthy plants need the right balance to flourish. If your soil is too acidic or too alkaline, 
your plants may struggle to absorb essential nutrients, leading to stunted growth and poor yields. Baking soda is the unsung hero of soil pH management. Not only can it be used to test your soil's pH level, but it can also help adjust the pH to the optimal range for your plants. Intrigued? Well, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process for testing and adjusting your soil's pH using baking soda so you can ensure your plants are thriving in the perfect environment. So strap in, keep watching. I'll help you create the perfect environment for your plants to thrive. So stick around as I continue to explore the extraordinary powers of baking soda in your garden. Now that we've got our soil pH in check, it's time to tackle another common gardening challenge. Pests. They can be a gardener's worst nightmare. These little critters can wreak havoc on your garden, but don't worry, baking soda can help keep those pesky critters at bay. When mixed with water and sprayed on your plants, baking soda creates an inhospitable environment for many common pests, deterring them from munching on your precious beloved plants. But that's not all. Baking soda can also promote overall plant health by providing a boost of essential nutrients. And if you thought baking soda couldn't get any more impressive, wait until you see the natural pest control methods I have in store for you. Spoiler alert, they're game changers. So if you're tired of pests nibbling at your crops and want to give your plants an extra boost of health, stick around. While I unveil the pest control and plant health benefits of baking soda in your garden. You've heard me sing praises of baking soda as a natural pest deterrent and plant health booster. But you might be thinking, that all sounds great in theory. Then you might be wondering, does it really work in practice? Well, in this segment, I'm going to share some real life examples and personal experiences that will surely put your doubts to rest. Last summer, my tomato plants were under attack by a nasty case of early blight. I tried various commercial fungicides, but nothing seemed to work. The situation seemed hopeless. That's when I decided to give baking soda a chance. I prepared a solution of baking soda, water, and a bit of horticultural oil, and sprayed it on the affected plants every week. To my surprise, within a few weeks, the blight had disappeared and my tomatoes were thriving again. But that's not the end of the baking soda success story. I also used baking soda to adjust the pH of my raised garden beds. The soil was a bit too acidic, which was causing my plants to struggle. After incorporating baking soda into the soil, my plants perked up and I had one of my best harvests ever. So there you have it, folks. Baking soda isn't just an old wives tale. It's a tried and tested garden companion. Stay tuned as I get deeper into the wonders of baking soda in your garden. Folks, you have learnt about how baking soda can fight off fungi, deter pests and balance soil pH. Now let's step into a world of transformation. Picture this, a garden struggling with nutrient deficiencies, plants wilting, leaves spotted with fungus. Now fast forward a few weeks after regular application of baking soda. Those same gardens are now a sight to behold, lush, vibrant and bursting with health. Plants that were once on the brink of dying are now thriving. The difference is not just visible, it's remarkable. And this transformation isn't limited to just one or two types of plants. From tomatoes to roses, baking soda works wonders across the board. If these results have piqued your interest, then stick around. Just wait until you find out the incredible impact baking soda can have on your garden's overall health and productivity. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. I know that you find this video informative so far and will continue to find the rest of this video informational and very educational. So go ahead and give me some support. This is simple, easy and free of cost, but significantly very important. It will only take a few seconds of your time, and like I mentioned before, it will cost you nothing, but will help to grow my channel and also enable me to spread more valuable needed information like this. Now, click on that thumbs up button. It's a simple act, but the impact can be massive. Imagine that simple click as a ripple in a pond, extending outwards to touch and influence others to become more conscious about becoming more informed about their health and well-being. It also helps to spread much needed important information to a wider audience, which can potentially make a change in someone's life. So go ahead, show your appreciation for these types of informative videos. Click that thumbs up button to potentially make a change. Now, to ensure that you don't miss out 
on any more valuable content, click the subscribe button and the notification bell that is beside it. Then select all to gain access to all the other videos on my channel and to stay up to date with any new ones that gets posted. Most importantly, subscribing is absolutely free. My channel isn't just about sharing. It's about building a community of knowledge seekers who understand the importance of staying informed and updated when it comes to a healthy lifestyle. Subscribing and commenting not only helps the growth of my channel, but also enriches this platform by making it more interactive. Whether it's a question, a suggestion, or a simple greeting, your comments add to the dialogue. So go ahead, click that subscribe button and become a part of this knowledge packed community. By the way, if you watch this video on your television, you can use your mobile phone or your computer to complete these tasks. Also, do not forget to leave a comment. It could be as simple as saying hi or where you are watching from. I would love to hear from you. Now that you know the incredible results baking soda can deliver, it's time to roll up your sleeves and get to work. Here are some easy to follow step-by-step -step guides to help you harness the power of baking soda in your own garden. A. How to make natural fungicide with baking soda. 1. Mix 1 teaspoon of baking soda and half teaspoon of liquid soap or horticultural oil in 1 gallon of water. 2. Stir the solution until the baking soda is fully dissolved. 3. Transfer the mixture to a spray bottle. 4. Thoroughly spray the affected plants, making sure to cover both the tops and undersides of the leaves. 5. Reapply the solution every 7 to 10 days or after heavy rain. B. Testing and adjusting soil pH using baking soda 1. Collect a soil sample from your garden and mix it with distilled water in a container. 2. Add half teaspoon of baking soda to the soil water mixture. 3. If the solution fizzes, your soil is acidic. If it doesn't fizz, your soil is alkaline. 4. To raise the pH, make it less acidic, mix one tablespoon of baking soda per one foot of soil and work it into the top six to eight inches. C. DIY pest control solutions with baking soda one. For a basic insect repellent, mix one teaspoon of baking soda with one quart of water and a few drops of liquid soap. Two. For a stronger solution, add one teaspoon of vegetable oil to the mixture. Three. Spray the solution directly on the affected plants, making sure to cover the tops and undersides of the leaves. 4. Reapply every 7 to 10 days or after heavy rain. And if these simple solutions have you excited, just wait until you see the other ingenious ways you can use baking soda in your garden. From boosting nutrient uptake to sweetening your fruits, the possibilities are endless. You have heard about the amazing benefits of applying baking soda in your garden and you've even learned some practical ways to apply it. But don't just take our word for it. Let's hear from the gardening experts from around the world who swear by this secret ingredient and are singing the praises of baking soda as a natural, eco-friendly solution for a variety of gardening needs. Jessica Walliser, a renowned horticulturist and author, praises baking soda as an essential tool for organic gardeners. In her words, baking soda is an absolute must-have in any organic gardener's toolkit. Not only is it effective against fungal diseases and pests, but it's also incredibly gentle on the environment and your plants. Kevin Lee Jacobs, a veteran gardener and blogger, shares his experience. I've been using baking soda in my garden for years and I can't imagine gardening without it. It's affordable, versatile and incredibly effective at keeping my plants healthy and thriving. The National Gardening Association, a trusted authority in the gardening world, also endorses baking soda as a safe, natural alternative to harsh chemical products. Sarah Smith, an NGA spokesperson, says, Baking soda is a fantastic option for eco-conscious gardeners looking to minimise their environmental impact. Intrigued by these expert endorsements? Well, just keep watching for even more insights from the pros on maximizing the benefits of baking soda in your garden. They share some invaluable tips and tricks. You won't want to miss this. Are you ready for these tips and tricks from the experts? Of course you are. First up, Jeff Gilman's advice on timing and thorough coverage when using baking soda as a fungicide. Apply the baking soda solution at the first sign of disease and reapply every seven to 10 days to prevent further spread on our tomato plants. 
ensuring that you cover the entire plant, especially the underside of leaves, where fungi often thrive. Next up, horticulturist Jessica Walliser, who recommends that for the best results when adjusting soil pH with baking soda, do a basic soil test first. Only apply baking soda if your soil is extremely acidic, below 5.5 pH. Use no more than one tablespoon per square foot and work it into the top few inches of the soil. Then, the next advice comes from Kevin Lee Jacobs on how to deter pests like cabbage worms and slugs from our leafy greens. It is to make a baking soda spray with one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon vegetable oil and one quart of water. The oil helps the solution stick to leaves and the baking soda creates an unappetizing environment for the pests. This effectively keep cabbage worms and slugs at bay. Lastly, the National Gardening Association cautions that while baking soda can be an effective tool, it should be used judiciously because excessive sodium can build up in the soil over time and plants and that we should therefore alternate with other eco-friendly treatments and always do a leaf test first to check for phytotoxicity. These expert tips highlight the importance of proper application methods and moderation when using baking soda. Keep watching as I explore some more ways to safely maximize this versatile garden. Here are some additional tips from the experts on how to safely maximize the benefits of using baking soda in the garden. As according to Jeff Gilman, you should avoid spraying during the hottest times of day to prevent leaf burn. As according to horticulturist Jessica Walliser, while baking soda is effective against fungal diseases, pests and more, it's important not to overuse it. Excessive sodium can build up in the soil over time. Alternate baking soda applications with things like neem oil or horticultural vinegar to maximize effectiveness. Kevin Lee Jacobs suggests using baking soda judiciously on edible plants. For vegetables and fruits, stick to using baking soda early in the growing season before fruits form. As you get closer to harvest, switch to food grade products to avoid any residue on your crops. The National Gardening Association advises that before broadly applying any baking soda mixture, test it on a few leaves and wait 24 hours to check for phytotoxicity or burning. Different plants can have varying sensitivities. These expert insights highlight key considerations like timing, rotation with other treatments, avoiding overuse on edibles and testing first for plant sensitivity. Through these practical advices, you have gained a deeper understanding of how to effectively and safely use baking soda in your garden. From combating fungal diseases and deterring pests to adjusting soil pH and promoting overall plant health, this humble kitchen staple has proven itself to be a true gardening game changer. By incorporating baking soda into your gardening practices, you can bid farewell to harsh chemical products and embrace a more sustainable, environmentally conscious approach to nurturing your plants. The transformative potential of this inexpensive, readily available ingredient is truly remarkable, and the results speak for themselves. I encourage you to put these methods into action and experience the power of baking soda firsthand. Whether you're battling a stubborn fungal issue or simply looking to give your plants a natural boost, give these techniques a try and share your results in the comments section. Let me know, have you ever tried using baking soda in your garden in a unique or unconventional way? If so, I'd love to hear about your experiences. Share your stories in the comments section. I can't wait to hear about your successes and learn from your innovative ideas. Together, we can continue to revolutionize gardening practices and create healthier, more sustainable gardens for everyone. I wish to express my profound gratitude for your time and interest. It's been a joy to share this enlightening exploration of health and wellness with you. Your comments, insights and experiences are priceless, so please don't hesitate to share them with us in the comments section. By spreading this video among your loved ones, you might just inspire them to embark on their own journey towards healthier living. Remember, staying informed is the first step towards a healthier, happier life. However, it's crucial to note that the information provided here serves educational and informational purposes only and is not intended to replace professional or medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Your health is your greatest asset and it's essential to make informed decisions under the guidance of professionals. Use this information as a starting point 
and take action today for a healthier tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Keep an eye out for my next video and until then, stay healthy, stay happy and keep learning.